Hi everybody, Honest John here. Now, it's been said that there is someone out there for everyone. A hopeful sentiment, especially for those who are not having much luck in their relationships. And they're probably right. There are about 8 billion people in the world, so surely one of those 8 billion people is my or your ideal mate. But if you live in Peoria and your ideal mate lives in Beijing, the chances of the two of you meeting are pretty small. However, if you live in a highly populated area, there's a very good chance that you'll meet someone who suits you. But some people live in small towns and villages and even uh, farm areas where your nearest neighbor could be a couple of miles away. That limits your choices. Obviously, if you're in that situation, you can't afford to be too fussy. There is also the question of how do you define your ideal mate? A weak and insecure person might be attracted to an aggressive dominant person. But that doesn't mean that that's an ideal mate. As a matter of fact, what often happens in that situation is that the relationship becomes abusive. So the idea that there is a perfect match is probably not practical. I think finding somebody that you're comfortable with is important, but you can't be too comfortable. I think a, an ideal mate is somebody who you can be comfortable with, but who also challenges you, who also brings out the best in you. There should be qualities that you admire in your mate and your mate should find things to admire in you. Relationships need to be two-way affairs, built on a foundation of respect. And if you both bring that to the relationship, there's a good chance that it will be a very good relationship that will bring out the best in you, encourage personal growth. That is as close to the ideal match as you can get. Thanks for listening.